<laughs> UNC freshman Maeve Taylor swipes into the dining hall, grabs a plate and fork, orders, Can I have pancakes, please? Thank you. And sits down to eat. This pancake is really disgusting, and it tastes like raw. Taylor has an unlimited meal plan which allows her to eat at the dining hall as much as she wants. She spends $24 per day on dining hall food, but Taylor says she doesn't feel like she's getting her money's worth. It doesn't really feel great to pay and then like eat this. I don't like that I'm paying for crappy food. I definitely think there's food that makes me happier for a better price off of the meal plan. She expects a better price when she cancels her meal plan next semester. Taylor says she's frustrated that food options are limited because she's required to live on campus as a freshman. Taylor says she only bought the meal plan for convenience. On campus, the only accessible food is really the dining hall, so you have to get a meal plan unless you want to starve. Carolina Dining Services, or CDS, makes sure students don't starve by providing food in two campus dining halls. CDS staff declined to be interviewed despite repeated requests, but CDS communications manager wrote in an email that meal plan pricing considers trends and the cost of operating the dining halls. These trends include meal plan sales, consumption, food costs, and wages. Top public institutions such as UVA and the University of Michigan has similarly priced meal plans. Hi, can I please have the Cuban sliders? UNC senior Nicole DeBryan canceled her meal plan last semester. DeBryan eats at restaurants two blocks from campus on Franklin Street. Like when I go out to Franklin, I can get the food that I actually want and like I can get healthy food if I want healthy food and it's just such a better value. Franklin Street offers DeBryan more than 50 restaurants. Linda's Bar and Grill is her favorite. I like Linda's because it has really good quality food and it's fairly priced. Like I just paid $8 for my whole meal. $8 for dinner is a good value for DeBryan, who spends about $20 per day for food. DeBryan snacks on granola bars for breakfast and eats on Franklin Street for lunch and dinner. She says eating two meals a day on Franklin Street has its downfalls. I'm on campus a lot and I'm usually here like late into the evening. It's about a 15-minute walk up to Franklin, so it's super annoying, especially when it's cold out. UNC junior Erin Turner canceled her meal plan when she moved off campus. She enjoys living in an apartment because she can cook her own meals. It's just a lot more affordable, and I can actually make food I enjoy eating, and I don't have to feel guilty about spending so much money on food I don't like. Tonight I'm making plain beans and... Turner spends about $10 per day to cook. Her favorite thing about cooking? Enjoying the food. This is so much more healthy and affordable than the dining hall. And it tastes much better. Turner says cooking is more time consuming than eating at the dining hall. I'd probably say when I cook a big dinner, it probably takes me at least an hour or so from start to finish just to do all of the steps. Turner buys ingredients at the Target on Franklin Street. Target manager Matthew Lozier says the store gives students greater accessibility to groceries. The number of grocery transactions um, when students are here is significantly up. Every student has their preference, whether it's eating at the dining hall, going to Franklin Street, or cooking their own meals. Students such as Taylor, DeBryan, and Turner say it's cheaper to eat without a meal plan. In Chapel Hill, I'm Marissa Rowell reporting.